Stub ends are short lengths of small diameter pipe of 8 inches and smaller that are connected onto larger diameter pipes, predominantly 10 inches and larger. Uh, the short sections of pipe that are difficult to remove without actually cutting the T-piece out. Uh, we've got um, a policy where we have to replace every uh, tier 1 pipe that's within 30 metres of a property. Uh, we've got a long time to do that, we've got until 2032, but we need to cut them all out. You have large excavations, predominantly at busy junctions, uh, they can be deep. They could be up to 15, 20 metres in length. Some of them need road closures, lane closures, and they're really disruptive for uh, members of the public. There's an existing technique called seal that Steve Vick used, um, and that does abandon the pipe by introducing a foam plug and then filling behind it with foam. The problem is we can't get that right into the neck of the tee, um, so there's no surety that you've got rid of all of the tier one pipe. Um, so what the new technique's all about is to get as far into the tier one pipe as possible to make sure the entire pipe's taken off risk and it leaves the parent main, i.e. the large diameter one, still in place. Our product is based around our expanding foam technology which has been in the gas networks for around 35 years. It effectively seals all of the joints up to the last joint before it reaches the tier two or tier three main. We have a fabric bag and we inject foam along the umbilical cord which then goes into the bag. The bag then inflates and seals in position and that foam leaks out of the bag, mixes in with the rust or any debris that could be there and provides a gas tight seal. We started off, we knew that Steve Vick had this technique called seal, um, but we needed to develop it further to get the bag into the right position. Uh, and we also needed to make sure that the foam wouldn't pass beyond the bag. So to do that, we've, we've gone back to Stevic, asked them to look at the existing technology and to develop it to do exactly what he wanted to do. The main challenge for us was being able to take the existing technology we already had and make it go the extra metre towards the parent main. Uh, there was always a risk of foam leaking forward at the final bag position, but with the new technology that we've developed, it prevents that from occurring. Uh, we've done some live trials on sites in Middlesbrough where we could cut the tees out to see exactly what had happened. That proved very successful, they did exactly what we expected it to do. From there we've chosen 15 live sites where we've actually abandoned pipes and we've also employed HSL, the Health and Safety Laboratories, uh, for their view on its, its in-day use um, and the feedback was very good. We're confident that the technique will get approved for use within Northern Gas Networks. We've got to, to go through the, the formal process of getting it approved but once it's in place we'll be using this as a method to abandon any uh, tier one pipe which is eight inches or less that connects to a large diameter pipe that isn't due for replacement um, thereby saving an awful lot of um, large excavations in busy junctions that could cause havoc. The technology itself it will reduce the costs of cutting out tees for NGN. It's a remote system that can be used up to 60 metres away from the tee from a less sensitive part of the highways, so digging and reinstatement costs is greatly reduced for them. It stops us having to go into uh, junctions, major junctions, busy highways. Any work that we do, it'll be a much better um, experience for the general public. Less excavations, less disruption, less traffic management. Uh, we've had some interest from other networks and we're more than happy for them to either come and visit us or talk to us. Uh, we see this as being a big improvement in how you can do uh, mains abandonment and we're more than happy to share it.